So when you're talking about human development, you've got to consider the contributions from genetics, right? And we're going to be talking not only about, you know, the specific genes uh, that you inherit, the specific alleles. These are different versions, let's say, of the same, you know, gene that codes for a particular, you know, class or type of protein, for example. You know, we can inherit slightly different, you know, versions of that gene, what are known as alleles for that gene. Um, those contributions, but also epigenetic contributions. Uh, epi means above, so these are above the genome uh, sorts of um, uh, differences. Um, and you know, it turns out that you know, life experience can uh, result in you know, the addition or the deletion of you know, chemical tags you know, actually on segments of the DNA itself or the, the proteins that are also you know, components of the chromosomes. And these, you know, these are um, additions and deletions that actually occur because of experience, because of environmental factors. Um, and they will change or alter, you know, the expression of specific genes. And that can have, you know, significant impact, obviously, on, you know, what um, genes are expressed and to what degree, you know, which specific proteins are, you know, are um, ultimately translated, you know, which, which alters the structure and function, you know, of basically who we are. But there are also significant, you know, um, environmental factors and this epigenetic route is obviously one way that environment can influence gene expression so even though you inherit a certain you know set of genes you know it depends a lot on how you know the environment in which you are developing um, will impact you know chromosomes and you know how individual genes are ultimately expressed another thing that you know is very interesting to consider is how some of these epigenetic changes to the chromosomes are actually heritable. They can actually be passed on, you know, uh, from one generation to the next. So, you know, what happened, you know, to your your mother and your grandmother, your father and your grandfather, you know, may have uh, an impact, you know, um, over gene expression, you know, in you today. And what you do now, you know, could actually, you know, alter <laughs> the expression of genes, not only, you know, epigenetically, you know, persistently throughout your lifetime, but also, you know, potentially be passed on, you know, to your progeny, right? Um, and, you know, a, a, a big area of research uh, interest on, you know, the interaction, you know, between genetics and the environment uh, is what are known as, it's, it's the Janine sisters, actually. Uh, they're actually known as, uh, let's see, uh, Nora, Iris, Myra and Hester, and these are, you know, made up names actually uh, because, you know, the first letter of each of their names in that order actually uh, is an acronym, you know, for a sub-agency of the National Institutes of Health, uh, you know, that has actually funded uh, a lot of these studies. But the Janine quadruplets were a genetically identical group of sisters, you know, born in the, uh, in the, in the 20th century who all developed schizophrenia by their early 20s. Um, and a major focus of research interest has actually been the fact that they varied greatly in the severity of their illnesses, right? Um, and, um, you know, they've been studied since the 1950s um, because this is an extremely rare occurrence. You know, it's estimated to be one in 1.5 billion. And again, because their illnesses vary, you know, in severity. So here we have, you know, monozygotic, you know, identical quadruplets, right? And yet they have a very different course, uh, you know, very different courses of disease progression. Um, and, you know, what's interesting is I want you guys to consider why, like what, what sort of influences might result in, you know, different sort of uh, diagnostic outcomes in terms of, you know, the development of schizophrenia, the, the you know, when they develop schizophrenia, uh, the degree of severity of the schizophrenia, uh, you know, the progress basically of these these uh, diagnosable disorders. Uh, what what aspects of their experience, their life, you know, could be um, influencing, you know, these aspects of you know their psychology.